Edison Future have just unveiled a pretty sweet looking pickup truck that's kind of a, a little bit of a combination of a Rivian and a Cybertruck. It's like they had a baby and made this thing. It has up to 450 miles of range and a huge roof that's basically one big solar panel. So does it work? Does it make sense? And is it good? Hello, my friends. You are watching The Electric Viking. Welcome to the channel. My name is Sam Evans, and I'm coming to you here from Melbourne, Australia. Thank you to all those of you, of you who have jumped on our Patreon account and become supporters of the channel. And thank you to those who have become members of the channel. Now, remember, if you become a member, you get access to our videos 24 to 48 hours in advance. So I'll put a link in the description below to how you can become a Patreon and a member. Now, Electric has just reported that infant EV brand, Edison Future, debuted two truck concepts at the LA Auto Show this year, aiming to bring both models to market in 2025. Too late in my view, but hey, it still might work. Now, hopefully they can accelerate that timeline because we need them sooner. And by then, I think there'll be a bit of market saturation. One concept in particular, the EF, 1T is quite interesting looking and long, very, very long, like as in super long. Yeah, you get my point. It's long. While the ordinary, while the company may not be trying to compete with Tesla, Electric says, but I'd say they most certainly are competing with Tesla and Rivian, the EF1T pickup could certainly attract some Cybertruck fans if they can't get their vehicle in time considering Subtruck already has 1.35 million pre-orders and could be over 2 million by the time they start production, probably mass production in 2023. Edison Future is a new passenger EV brand created by Phoenix Motor Inc. in Ontario, Canada, but that's a bit misleading. I believe the parent company is actually Chinese owned. Edison Future now joins Phoenix Motor Cars as a dual brand strategy under the, under the same larger EV umbrella. Furthermore, Phoenix Motor Cars exists as a wholly owned subsidiary of SPI Energy, which focuses on renewable energy, particularly solar, a key feature on the Edison Future vehicles. Now, does the solar make sense? It actually covers the entire roof, and then you actually have a fold-out bed cover, which it covers as well. Well, yes and no. Obviously, you're adding a fair bit of weight to the vehicle, so it's not going to give you a whole lot of benefit considering you're, you're carrying a bit more weight with you. I think the bed would make even more sense if it folded out so that when you're camping, you could fold it right out to be, say, triple the size. To me, that will be the one feature. Whoever makes that as an accessory to an electric SUV or an electric pickup truck, they're going to have a huge market because you can imagine if you're going to a camping site well, then you want to carry with you your big solar panel that folds out to be, say, three times bigger than your pickup. That could be, say, the, the roof of your tent, or that could be an awning or something which you go under. That would make a lot of sense because then that massive size would actually make sense to bring with you. But do you really want to carry that weight with you every day? Yeah, I'm not so sure it makes sense in that regard. Now, tell me, what do you think? Would you buy one with this the big solar panel at the top? Would you buy one of these at all? Now, this pickup is big. It's bigger than it looks. And I think in the pictures without the funky solar bed folded up in the back, it actually looks pretty good. So Edison has just unveiled the EF1 and the EF1T electric trucks. According to the Edison Future team, they were getting a lot of feedback from their commercial fleet customers through Phoenix Motor Cars about inquiries into consumer versions of their EV tech. Now, the Edison Future team is the first to admit that these are still just concepts. And the production versions will certainly vary based on consumer feedback, which it welcomes and enhances as it seeks future prototyping and production. While this new consumer EV brand remains in its infancy, Edison Future is bringing its entire team and technology from Phoenix Motor Cars to aid in the effort, many who have been developing proprietary EV technologies for over a decade. So there's quite a bit of experience, quite a bit of experience here in this team. That puts Edison Future at an advantage in terms of design and production infrastructure, but it will still need 
to make a splash with the new brand and achieve actual production to truly have a chance of making it, of succeeding. I think in addition to that, it probably needs investment from other companies as well. Now, that could begin with the EF1T, which caused a lot of people apparently at the motor show to stop and look, uh, and I, for good reason, it's, it's striking. Now, of the two electric vehicles that debuted in LA, Electric says that the EF1T stood out because of its similarities to the Cybertruck, but even more so for its sheer size alone. Now, I don't think there's a lot of similarities here to the Cybertruck. I think it looks very different to the Cybertruck. I think entirely different. What do you think? Do you see similarities between this and the Cybertruck? At a time where we are just beginning to see fully electric pickups, many automakers have been shifting to smaller crossover style SUVs. It's interesting, isn't it? Because I mean, Cybertruck has 1.3 million pre-orders. Ford now have more than 200,000 pre-orders for their electric F-150 Lightning pickup and Rivian have more than 50,000 pre-orders. If you could put all those together, that's over 1.5 million pre-orders for electric pickup trucks in America. The demand here is just astronomical. The EF1T looks like it could eat a Nissan Leaf and spit out the license plate, especially when you see how long it is up close, say journalists. Now, with its future line of pickup trucks, Edison Future is focused on pushing electric vehicle adoption rather than competing against specific automakers already in the space, they say. Now, this is what the Chief Marketing Officer, Jose Paul Pacal, said. Edison Future is here to provide innovative, bold, and sustainable options for consumers. There are other manufacturers in the truck segment, and we applaud those efforts. The EV space is growing at such a rapid pace, so there is opportunity for numerous OEMs to address demand. Because of our main goal being electric vehicle adoption, we simply provide additional choices that are unique, stylish, and complete with features and specs that create a unique value proposition for drivers. Well, that's all marketing spiel because at this point, all we see is, well, a couple of concepts. But hopefully, fingers crossed, these make it to production because these are pretty cool. Now, one of the options could soon be the EF1T. This electric pickup is designed to be up to 243 inches long. That's over 20 feet. Now, for comparison, the Cybertruck was listed at 231.7 inches in length and the F-150 Lightning is 232.7 inches long. So it's about 11 inches longer than the F-150 Lightning. Which, to be honest, I think the F-150 Lightning is, is too short. Seriously. The tray. I mean, it's only a 5.5 foot tray. I don't, it, you can't even fit a surfboard in that thing. I, I don't, it doesn't make sense to me. But anyway, eventually I'm sure they'll make one with a longer tray. Now, the cabin is quite roomy on this pickup and was designed with a basketball-like orange interior that, well, it stands out. I'm not sure I'd want an orange interior in my pickup truck. I think black seats would be a better option. But anyway, another cool thing it has is a toolbox in its rear passenger door. Now, to me, that makes a lot of sense. I don't know why other manufacturers don't do something like that. Now, Electric said that what stood out the most was the solar panels integrated into the roof of the Edison Future EVs particularly the solar-equipped armadillo shell of the bed of the EF1T. I think it makes it look um, ugly, to be honest. I think if you had a, a panel that kind of folded away into the tray, I would prefer that personally. But what do you think of it? Would you drive around with that panel on the back, like, you know, folded up like that on the back? Let me know. The team at Edison Future anticipates the solar panel to provide 25 to 35 additional miles of range each day under sunny conditions. For perspective on that, Fisker's upcoming Ocean EV is estimated to deliver four miles a day in sunny conditions, 5.5 miles under ideal conditions. So maybe they're being optimistic saying 25 to 35 additional miles. You can see why I was saying before, it needs to be bigger. I mean, that's just not enough additional range in my opinion to carry that thing around. If true though, that could be a huge selling point for the EF1T and the EF1V going forward. Now here are the specifications, I'll put them on the screen. The EF1T, the base model, has a single motor with 300 kilowatt and an estimated range of 300 miles. That means 440 horsepower and 480 kilometers of range. Now, apparently, it'll do 6.5 seconds to 62 miles an hour. And it has a curb weight of only 2.1 ton. Now, I, I think that that's pretty good evidence that they haven't really built the truck yet because 
there is zero chance, zero chance unless they built this whole thing out of carbon fiber that it's going to weigh 2.1 ton. I mean, considering the size of this thing, that's just impossible. Uh, so yeah, anyway, it doesn't matter. Apparently that thing, in that configuration, the base model would come, will come with a 120 kilowatt hour battery pack. Now the middle range model, which comes with a dual motor, a bit like the Cybertruck, will have 690 horsepower and 514 kilowatt. It'll also have a 380 mile range with 610 kilometers in the metric scale. Apparently it'll do 4.5 seconds to 62 miles an hour or 100 kilometers an hour. And it only weighs 2.2 ton with a 150 kilowatt hour battery pack. Now, apparently that model will tow 9,000 pounds, which is 4,000 kilo. Now the top model is the tri-motor, has three motors and 816 horsepower, which is 600 kilowatt, 450 miles of range and 720 kilometers of range. will do zero to 62 miles an hour, zero to 100 in 3.9 seconds. And it only weighs 2.3 ton with a 180 kilowatt hour battery pack. So yeah, like I said, unless it's all made out of carbon fiber and titanium, then it's not going to weigh that. It'll probably weigh an extra 500 to 600, maybe even 700 kilos more than that. Now the top model will tow 11,000 pounds or 5,000 kilo, which is pretty good. For those of you who are asking for a pickup truck that can tow and do say 500 kilometers of range, well, this could be it. Now, obviously, there is quite a number of different car makers now in America and in China making electric pickup trucks, or, or at least planning on making them in stages of development. You've got General Motors, Ford, Rivian, Tesla, in China, Great Wall, BYD, and another company making an electric pickup truck as well. I'll put a link in the description below to that other Chinese company and to the video that I made about all the electric pickups that are coming over the next few years and when I think they're actually, they will actually come to market. Now, just so you know, I think that was one of the best videos that I've done before. I think my predictions will be fairly accurate and I had good reasons for why I made them. Now, Edison Future is worth taking note of because of its correlation with Phoenix Motor Cars, which are an established commercial EV manufacturer developing and implementing a lot of its own technology. So it appears as though this isn't just going to be vaporware. It will be a real pickup and, well, a real vanny, long, 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 long van as well. Now, at this point, these vehicles are just concepts. It's going to take a boatload of money to turn them into the real thing. But I'm going to be honest with you. If anyone can do it, it's the Chinese. Because you know what? It doesn't take them 12 years to make an electric car like it took Rivian. Don't get me wrong, Rivian's pickup is fantastic. There's no company in China though that's going to take 12 years to bring an electric car to market. They do things damn fast over there. And, you know, sometimes, yeah, with different results, but there are some really impressive electric cars in China. Whilst I, as far as I can tell, it's not going to be made in China, probably would make sense because that would reduce costs. But then it wouldn't actually qualify for the electric vehicle incentive that you can get in America. And you'd want that. So maybe it should be built in America. I mean, actually, it would be better if it was built in America because we need manufacturing jobs in America. We need to keep manufacturing in America. What do you think? What do you think about this pickup? Would you buy one? Do you like it? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.